So what is the difference between self-love and romantic love? Why is it important to focus more on self-love as you're getting older, 40, 50 and 60, rather than romantic love? I believe that romantic love is automatic and it's very easy. It's you, you're in one place and that a person is in front of you and you start waking up emotionally. It's a beautiful process, highly recommended that you fall in love consistently to wake yourself up from being rigid or from being close-minded or from your heart to being closed. But we need to be smart. We need to understand the difference between self-love and romantic love because self-love is what will ensure that you are stable, that you are successful, that you are accomplishing your dreams, you know, your, your goals, and so that you are a healthy human being. The problem with romantic love is that it's always, or the problem, or the challenge, I should say, the challenge, not the problem, challenge, is that it will always be more intense. You will always feel more intense towards other people. Why, I don't know why that is. I suspect part of that is that certain feelings or certain needs that we have unmet for us will be then projected onto other people and we're going to see ourselves in other people and that's why the feeling I believe is so intense so for example when you love somebody that is doing something that you wish you were doing in your life the intensity will be doubled or tripled because the intensity is mixed with your regrets or your guilt about not doing the thing that that person that you love is doing so it's a common concept of projection the key to self-love is to recognize that sometimes we are going to be falling in love with other people other men for all the wrong reasons and that's when we need to distinguish between romantic love and self-love and the people that learn how to do that faster in their lives are people that eventually settle into good quality romantic marriages, romantic relationships and marriages. And those people that are not aware that they are sacrificing themselves for their relationships, they will eventually struggle and almost never taste what it's like to be in a healthy relationship. For them, codependent relationship will be the container for a relationship they are in and they will always be sacrificing themselves in the name of the romantic love and you see that when men become overweight when they are in relationships and you see their quality of life deteriorates they're anxious they don't look healthy they don't take care of themselves and that's the situation where we simply surrendered self-care or self-love towards romantic love in this video I shared with you some ideas for what to pay attention to should you choose self-love or love towards somebody else? Self-love always should win. And it will be your life's journey to discover how to do that. It is not as easy as I make it sound. I've been in romantic relationships where I totally stepped on myself year after year for many years. Eventually I learned that it's too big of a price to pay to sacrifice my self-love in the name of romantic love even though that romantic love feels 10 or 100 times more intense than the self-love for myself and the joy I get from it. I wish that you take care of yourself first and then help other people. And you keep that as a principle of your personal development, of your personal experiences in the future with other gay men in relationships. So I hope this has been helpful. For more videos like these, visit my website at paulangelo.com. As, as always, until I talk to you next time, go out there, think big, stay present, and be a leader in your life today. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.